Hello, this is Max Drake. I'd just like to talk to you about this Photos app that I posted um, uh, yesterday, I think, or the day before. Can't recall. Anyway, it's a sort of a workaround for trying to get photos into Glide. Um, and then after I posted it, I got a post there by David who just said, uh, we're going to build one in Glide. So, you know, that's a waste of time, but never mind. I'll look forward to his good one when it comes through. Um, to make this work, you've actually got to log into Google. Uh, you've got to log into Google with a Gmail account before you can actually upload. That's just one of the things of that. Anyway, the app actually works on the principle that you actually go in, uh, you give a bit of text, you upload some files, and then it goes into um, uh, and uploads the files in here. If there's more than one file in, um, it just puts it into the same cell. So what I've had to do is to break those cells out, and I was using um, trimming the left one and then getting the mid one and calculating all of these ones through. Uh, to, as you put in a new line of stuff, it wipes out whatever code's in there. So to solve that, I used um, uh, a, a method that I got from looking at one of Amat's um, uh, apps where he uses a function and then he uses a trigger. And the trigger that um, I've been using is copy, uh, sorry, is is on this place here is on submit. But basically, I've been using the Google Sheets functions or scripts, and I've been using the um, uh, triggers as well. So I got a couple of comments there. One was from Jeff Hager, who suddenly said, well, why are you using left? Why not use split? Because if you use split, if you end up suddenly saying, well, I could only, instead of only downloading five photos, you can download 10, that formula will work straight away, however many you use. So I thought, oh, that's a very elegant solution. And then George came through and also said, um, uh, I was doing it the hard way. You don't need the scripts or the triggers to pull off what you just did. Just use array formulas. So I thought, okay, then I'll have another little play with that. So I rewrote the actual um, uh, process through on that uh, using uh, a couple of things. I used the um, split formula through here. So this way, this um, I and this cell here looks across to this cell and splits it. And the thing with split is it just splits right the way through. So the, the, the tale of caution there is that if you're likely to get more files, just make sure that the following cells are all empty. Otherwise, it'll either overwrite or something will happen. It, won't, it might break. So um, that was um, something to do. I was a bit worried that if I actually only had one uh, one item, rather than two, I'm just going to knock that out. Would it work? And um, uh, you'll see it works just fine. So I was worried that the split wouldn't work unless it actually had the comma in there. Not the case. So that's brilliant. Um, so that's one thing I wanted to check on it. The other thing I checked um, a number of ones and that was good. The other little twisty one that I actually had, that array formula, again, I'm not that familiar with this, and I did try it once before, and I broke it. I just couldn't get it to work. Um, but on this one here, to get it to copy down, I actually need this if blank. So I've got to check to see if it's blank, and if it's blank, then don't do anything. So um, that was something. Otherwise, if I leave that if blank out, oh, and I've just done something really stupid in there. If I leave that if blank out and just del that lower bracket and do that, uh, you see it just blasts all the way down. It looks very, very messy. And then um, Glide gets very confused when it sees all of these. So when it goes to find the next line, it looks after those. So um, that wasn't a good one. So as I said, the solution to that was to um, put that in like that. The other one that I actually had was um, because I'm using the reference across and the child images coming through there. They're not formula. This is just taking saying whatever is in cell here, copy across to here. Now, um, I could actually just do um, cell all the way down and as soon as I got a new line, it would blow out that formula. And again, this is just a piece of text. So I ended up having to put a formula in. So I actually just, to, to make the array formula work on something that you don't actually have a formula in there, all I wanted to do is actually to put this dollar sign in, I actually ended up having to put this formula in, which is, is blank. So if it's blank, 
then don't do anything. But if it isn't blank, then do that. Then that works fine. So otherwise I thought, ah, oh, I could actually use a ray formula for that one, but I couldn't use a ray formula for these. I'd actually have to go back and still use an app script. So um, I don't need to now. So there's a lot cleaner. Um, this is in the same spreadsheet, just so that you can uh, have a reference to that. It makes it a lot lighter. You don't need app scripts. So if somebody else copies a file across, they don't need to go through and put in a whole lot of triggers for themselves based on their own username. Um, so thank you very much to Jeff and also to George for um, the assistance in those and uh, I hope this has been of interest for people and thank you very much for watching. If you did like it, can you do the thumbsy upping on the video, please? Thank you.